Hey guys and welcome back. I'm Chris Mazzarella and you're watching No Reserve Classics. And before we get started, if you haven't done it already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Cause you never know, your dream ride could be in the next video. Now hurry up and get this charger before they're all gone. Dodge has just released that they are no longer making any gas powered chargers. This is the real deal. The legendary 1969 Dodge Charger 440RT. Notated by the first five digits of the VIN XS29L. X is notating a charger. S notates the RT and the L for the 440 big block. This triple black charger is well equipped with a 440 cubic inch Mopar big block engine made it to a 727 torque flight automatic transmission. Born and built in the motor capital of the world, Michigan, this charger lived most of its life in the west coast. With straight body lines and a solid and stout underbody, this charger even has a factory styled interior. This is one not to be missed. And for your added convenience, we broke this video up into a few different sections. So if you wanted to, you could fast forward to your favorite part. Now, since you can't be here today on this beautiful turntable, if you visit us directly at No Reserve Classics, you'll be able to take all of our rides for a virtual 360 degree tour. That's right, with a simple swipe of a finger, you'll be able to view the beautiful exterior of all of our rides. After you're done with that, Click on the top left hand corner so you can get a virtual 360 degree interior tour as well. We here at No Reserve Classics wouldn't ask you to invest your money unless we put our money where our mouth is. And that's right guys, we own all of our inventory and this charger is not a consignment vehicle. Since we own all of our vehicles, we know about all of our vehicles. So if you're looking to learn more about this vehicle or how to get this charger into your garage, feel free to give me a call, Chris, at 1-800-562-7815, and I'll be sure to guide you through the full process.
thank you for watching our driving portion of our video and hope you are able to picture yourself in this awesome RT Charger. So here we have it, a triple black 1969 Dodge Charger RT. The exterior is pictured in a high gloss deep black paint with a black vinyl top and a red RT stripe. The front end has the iconic working flip up headlights and even working turn signals inside the factory scalloped hood. Along the side, the body lines are straight due to being in a dry climate car from the west coast and it leads directly into the 15 inch staggered Magnum 500 wheels that have a 235 millimeter front tire and an even wider 295 millimeter rear white letter tires. Now they definitely grip the road ahead. The wheels, they're gloss black with a machine face and they reflect all of the chrome placed around this charger. Behind those wheels are the brand new, newly installed brake components that stop this charger just as quick as it accelerates. The overall stance and body lines of this 69 Charger have been idolized in numerous TV and movies, including the world famous Fast and Furious movie, and of course, the Dukes of Hazard. And now is your chance to own a part of American muscle history. Under the hood of this well-dressed Charger is the Mopar 440 cubic inch big block engine, mated to a 727 torque flight automatic transmission. The engine bay is very clean and color matched with a high gloss black finish. It even has the factory trim tag, indicating and notating the originality of this RT. Although still keeping the factory appeal, this Charger has a few upgrades, like an oversized radiator with fans that keep this 440 cool. And by the way, the radiator support is factory metal with the factory VIN stamping still in it. Sitting atop of the rebuilt carburetor is an Edelbrock aluminum intake manifold and a billet high amp distributor, all working together to make sure this 440 performs at its peak. This charger also has power brakes and an upgraded high pressure power steering pump has also been installed, giving the end user a quick and quiet turning experience. This is one charger that deserves to have its hood properly popped at any auto event. As we open the door on this charger, we are not only stepping back into a well-restored charger, but we are stepping back in time when cars were cars and made lifetime memories. The interior is very plush with black vinyl throughout. Beyond the wood grain three spoke polished Mopar steering wheel is the factory rally dash with gauges that fully work from the headlight switch to the wipers, dimmer, and even down to the factory AM radio in the center. The 727 shifter flows through the center console that sits between the two bucket seats which has plenty of storage space and still retains the ports for the lap belts. The interior is very well restored, including a crack-free dash, a smooth headliner, plush seating with seat belts, a working heater with defrost, working interior and center console lights, working remote mirror, and one of the cleanest trunks you'll ever see. You could probably eat off of it. This leads us to the dry climate west coast with a very solid and stout underbody with solid floors you can see here today. Multiple new ball joints, control arms, and bushings throughout this charger makes it ride like it's on a cloud. And if you're looking to have an adjustable suspension installed, we do have a suspension upgrade available for purchase as well. All of the brakes have been replaced on all four corners and it stops this charger quicker than it accelerates. The springs on both front and rear have been restrung and hold that Mopar eight and three quarter inch rear end down to the ground. The true dual exhaust system pushes all 440 cubic inches of the American muscle through that long tube header and out through those two chrome tips and it just screams Mopar or no car, baby. And guys, I'm Chris Mazzarella and you've been watching No Reserve Classics. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to give me a call, Chris, at 1-800-562-7815. And if you guys haven't done it already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, because you never know, your dream ride could be in the next video.